Oh, praise be, praise be. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> People got back to very quickly not giving a fuck about Vince McMahon and his allegations. <laughs> Jesus, that didn't take long. WWE said, fuck that. It's called redirection. It's mania season, bitches. Oh, man. Woo! <laughs> and here I was last Saturday night, resigned to the fact of, hey, it's WrestleMania XL. Bigger and longer and uncut. And the best way you can match that moment is to do the same main event you did last year. Like I was prepared for it, right? Mentally coming to terms with it, coming to grips with it, and it's like, eh, it's not the end of the world. Whatever. It's been fun. <laughs> oh boy. But the plans, they were a-changing, weren't they? Woo! And you found that out Friday night on SmackDown. Oh, God. <laughs> this is Russell Geddon 2024. Holy shit. The woe movement. We want Cody. <laughs> you get Dwayne Johnson and like it, bitches. <laughs> I, I, don't even, I don't even know what else to say. I'm so proud of The Rock. He learned from the best. He learned from the that doesn't work for me brother school. You know, back in my day, the top babyface took somebody else's spot in the main event of WrestleMania. Took all their shine. That's the way it's supposed to be. And Dwayne learned his lessons. He said, Cody and Roman Finish the story, or does Mania, with Lesnar looking like he's out, CM Punk hurt? Does WWE need a real WrestleMania XL main event worthy match? Do they need the dream match that people have been talking about for years? And his answer, of course, was yes! <laughs> Gonna start calling them cockroaches. Cucky Rhodes, <laughs> they screwed over Cody Luther Rhodes on Black History Month. <laughs> and cue the idiots in the fucking <laughs> comments of this video. They're going to talk about, well, The Rock is black. Uh, you might want to tell because that's fucking news to him. The whole theme of everything you're going to be going down the next couple of months is about the Samoan lineage and heritage. Get fucking real. <laughs> Cody was supposed to be the people's champion. <laughs> <laughs> they fucked them over in Black History Month. They said, off to Seth Rollins, you go. <laughs> Roman, I want to take everything from you. <laughs> but I'm not going to do it at WrestleMania. Oh, my God. Like, all of the fucking ass backward, convoluted ass ways to do this. Why put yourself into this spot? Why put yourself into this corner, by God? Just why? 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 Just, you're going to do this just then have fucking Punk win the Rumble to those that are saying, well, Punk's injured. That would have created a problem. No, you could have come up with other alternatives. Have the fucking Rock go in and win the goddamn Rumble. Like, at least then you could say Punk wins, and but he's going to have to miss Mania due to injury. If that's what's happening here. You find something else to do. And at least then you could have some type of storyline sense here around Cody say, you know, Roman, I really want your shot. I want your title. I'm coming. That's going to finish my story. But I want to take everything from you. And there's somebody else. I want to start that downfall. And then you have the rock and then it's fine. You know, certainly. I'm no big fan of Cody Rhodes the person. However, I will always focus on the business aspects at the end of the day. And the business aspects are, is that Cody certainly has a following as a babyface. 
He's gotten the fans behind him, at least to a degree, although I don't think he's been the most over babyface in WWE the past year, but certainly near the top of the list, at least, right? And this is a company that has invested a lot of time and effort and energy and resources and signature wins in him. You got to be really careful not to undercut that character too much. You've got to be really careful you don't dink around and fuck this whole thing up. Because what you're going to get now is to a place where it's not going to be as satisfying whatever Cody does, whatever Cody's going to do. It's just that simple. To those that are proposing, well, then you have a... Uh, you have Cody face Roman at Elimination Chamber and win the belt there. No, that's fucking dumb. You're going to have Cody finish his story at 6 a.m. here stateside. That's idiotic. Additionally, it's already overshadowed by the specter of Rock and Roman at Mania. And once again, I have to repeat, the whole identity of the tribal chief, the head of the table, comes from Roman being the champion. Anybody saying otherwise is wrong, period. In order for that Rock Roman story to maximize its value in return and investment, it's got to have the title involved. It just has to. So it's got to happen at Mania. And to those that are saying, well, maybe they'll pivot and do night one, it's Rock and Roman, and night two is Cody and Roman. One, you have the order flipped. Ain't no way in hell Rock's doing potentially one of his last matches, and he's going to be the night one main event instead of the night two bring it all home main event. He learned from the best, brother. He knows how politics works, brother. This is Samoan supper club business, damn you. He knows what he's doing. He hates taking second fiddle here. And even if you did that, even if you had Cody win the belt on night one, it would feel cheap. And then you talk about Rock and Roman, all of a sudden you just saw Roman defeated, so it's not as big of a deal. And oh, by the way, that match is now not for the title. And to have to thread the needle on two different stories at the same time, building into one show, fuck all that. No. There are options here and everything else. It's just the whole convoluted ass, ass way that WWE went about this to me is astounding. Now, of course, the Cody fans have sent there and acted like well-adjusted, mature adults over the past 24 hours, right? <laughs> that, that segment on YouTube, WWE's YouTube channel is the most disliked video they've ever had. <laughs> Give me a break. Oh my God. You got people trying to start We Want Cody and Woe Move and getting those trending on Twitter and it's like, come on, man. Yeah, I certainly don't want Cody to beat Roman, but I am resigned to the fact that someday that probably happens, right? And I was already resigning to my fact, as much as I didn't like it, it was going to happen at WrestleMania. What I wasn't going to do was sit there for 24 hours after Royal Rumble and just incessantly solely bitch about that and then go after WWE social media employees, go after The Rock, go after this, go after that. Like, get a fucking clue, get a fucking life. My God, wrestling fans are the biggest petulant, whiny, fucking bitchy babies ever. Specifically, the hardest of hardcore internet core fan base. Is the crowd going to turn on this match at Philly? Why? Especially if R Cody wins the belt on night one. The whole Rock Roman thing is an entirely different thing. It's been a dream match that people have wanted for a long time. At this moment, I'm going to go ahead and say it to all those Cody stands <laughs> sitting there talking all your shit last Saturday night. <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me how Dwayne's ass tastes. <laughs> he, he, he said, I'm going to be on the board and I'm going to power and plow my way into a main event spot. He's going to fucking basically black at him. Goddamn WrestleMania. That's what he's doing. He's pulled a black Adam here. 
He's bringing in Gawards. He's going to sit there and dictate all the terms. He's going to try and make it his own universe. And I'm fucking here for it. Unbelievable. Man. Yeah, I totally get where people are saying this was not a good look on SmackDown. It wasn't. Like, just objectively, even if you're like me and you think the money match is Rock Roman at Mania, oh, because it is. If you think that's the appropriate match for Mania, oh, because it is. You still look at this and say, this was really fucking stupid. I don't care if you're a Rock versus Roman guy or a Cody finish the story guy. This didn't make anybody look good. Except maybe Roman. You say at the end of the day, did Roman have much sway here? But maybe he did. Again, hashtag Samoa Supper Club business. Perhaps. But it made Cody look like a weak ass cuck. And it made Rock look like... A that-doesn't-work-for-me-brother political power player, which is exactly what the hell he is. We'll see where WWE goes from here. Give me Rock versus Roman at WrestleMania. You teased it. Then you looked like you were fucking going away from it. Just end up giving it back to us. So don't fucking take it away now. You've went there. Stay the course. Don't pussy pivot. Give fans a couple of months to get over them fucking selves. They will. And go with Rock and Roman at WrestleMania. You've made your choice. You've made your bed. Now you got to fucking lie in it.